What's up everyone? It has been brought to my attention that a few people are finding they are eating more than usual on our meal plans that we have written for you. And I just want to address this because did you know eating too little could sabotage your weight loss? Okay, let's say you're under eating or you're starving yourself to lose weight. Now of course at first you'll lose weight, but after a while your body is going to start to panic because you're not supporting your body with enough calories or fuel that your metabolism actually drops and you burn fewer calories. This is an adaptive response to your body believing it is in a famine, which can cause it to conserve energy, aka hold on to those calories that you are consuming. So your body needs to be supported with enough calories to feel safe and support its energy needs, and also the right proportions, nutrients, vitamins, and minerals. Personally, I've had clients who were eating too few calories and could not lose weight, it was only when they allowed all foods in their diet and got their calorie intake up to the recommended TDE or BMR that they actually started to lose weight. Fat, not muscle mass. And sometimes it's not as simple as calories in and calories out. The idea only applies when you're providing enough fuel for your body. Here's why you need to stop thinking as food as good or bad. Of course, some have more nutrients or vitamins and minerals than others in which your body needs to support its energy needs. But at the end of the day, food is food and you can lose weight eating whatever you choose, including bread, potatoes, fatty meats like bacon. The main thing is choosing a meal plan that you are able to sustain long enough to lose weight. So choose a meal plan that you enjoy. And if you have added exercise to your meal plan, you need to know approximately how much energy you are burning so that you can accommodate the calories needed so that you have enough fuel to train effectively and at the same time consider your overall goal, weight loss or muscle gain. Okay guys, that's uh, one question answered. If anyone else has any other questions, um, give me a message or give me an email. Cheers guys.